What up, it's Brandon here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Solar Frame H blocks and which one is best for you. Starting with the stock one, this is the one that if you get solar frames, uh, it's unavoidable to get. So this H block is quite an unforgiving H block for skating flat. You're gonna to have to be very good at skating flat in order to get away with this. Uh, it's quite a shallow groove as you can tell here. And what I found is uh, it was really hard to tell when you're in the groove when you're grinding it. So a lot of the times I would end up grinding out of the groove like up here. So when you get the solar frames and you're skating the stock H block here, I would highly recommend getting some hard wheels. Something in the high 90As, because uh, that's what I did without even thinking and it definitely helped a lot. Uh, I didn't have to avoid wheel bite. I can just ride it out. So this H block is super fast. It's like the fastest thing I've ever slid on. It's made out of nylon, I'm pretty sure. And it's so fast. I first grind I did on these, I didn't wax. And it felt like grinding on a hot summer's day with this caked waxed uh, metal ledge. It's so fun. So this H block is good for all skating as long as you're good at skating flat. Uh, meaning it's gonna slide on concrete, it's gonna slide on rails, it's gonna slide on bowls, it's gonna slide on coping. It's good for everything. I skated this H block for a little while and it hasn't worn in much, but I've seen people absolutely destroy these and put a nice groove in it themselves. Um, so this is the kind of H-block that will only get better the more you skate it, but it won't last forever. So who is this H-block for? This H-block is for the pro flat skater. Uh, someone who wants a challenge, someone who doesn't mind having to really do their grinds perfectly. But you won't be disadvantaged in any way if you're really good at skating flat. It's great all around, street, park, yeah, you can't really go wrong. I'm glad it's one of the stock ones. Next up, we have the Antirocker V2 3D printed Illumoid H block. Just a preference before I talk anymore about this, I am definitely not an Antirocker skater anymore. I did mostly skate Antirocker all my life. It's when I was probably best at skating, was skating the Antirocker. I've been skating flat for a few years now. This is the last Antirocker setup I skated, and uh, I think I struggled a lot just because it is quite different. I didn't really enjoy it at all, but anyway. <laughs> so just like the stock H block, this is quite a shallow groove and I had the same problems where I, it was hard for me to tell when I was in the groove and when I was grinding on the edge here. It also fell out of the groove during grinds quite a few times. Now it isn't quite as fast feeling as the stock nylon H block, but it's still just as fast as any other plastic feeling frame. It will not last forever though. I found this stuff breaks in quite quick. I mean, you can probably put quite a nice deep groove in eventually if you skate long enough, but yeah, it won't last forever, uh, which is pretty standard for any plastic or nylon kind of frame. What I did find though, is skating this setup, anti-rock on the solar frames, is I lost all my favorite benefits of the solar frames. I lost all the responsiveness, I lost all the speed, and uh, the whole thing just like completely ruined the frames for me. So if you are gonna skate these anti-rock, I would highly recommend you skate a round profile wheel with some really good bearings. So this H-block won't limit you in any way. It slides on every surface. So you can skate street, you can skate park, and you'll have the same benefit of the solar frames where you won't need to wax ledges to slide them. But I think if you skate with this setup on the solar frames, you're really missing out on the full potential of the solar frame. You're losing the main big benefits that is, are great about them. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend skating them anti rocker at all, but if you are really curious and wanna try out some metal grind plates and you don't wanna have to wax the ledge so much anymore and ruin the skate park for skaters, uh, this is a good setup to try. Uh, and if you actually like skating anti rocker like me, you might actually enjoy it. But yeah, who is this H-Block for? It's for the anti rocker skater who wants to try out the new metal frames craze. Next up, we have the aluminum V2 flat H block. Now this one is my favorite one to skate. The groove deepness and shape is much more forgiving than the stock one. Uh, I have almost no issues with wheel bite and it has an unmatched grinding sound and feeling. Grinding the sole frames with set up with this H block is so much fun. It really brings back a whole new perspective on grinding. It makes grinding just like, oh, you just wanna go out there and just grind stuff you know it's fun now obviously since this one is metal it's going to be the longest lasting out of all of them which i really like it means there's going to be no point where you're going to have to adjust to a new frame because i'm going to be able to skate the solar frames with these for such a long time before i wear any kind of groove that will ruin them to get the best experience out of this frame i would recommend skating this h block with the conjure cosmic wheels to give you the full responsiveness and control and like freedom with grinds that you can get while skating flat. It's so much fun. So since this is just metal, they are really good for skating coping, rail, angle iron, ledges, or even bowl, but they do lack pretty hard when it comes to concrete ledges or street ledges, anything that's not metal. It is still possible to do grinds in it. I gave it a go, uh, but it's not fun at all. It's like no matter how much you wax 
perfect you know street ledges marble ledges uh, it's just a really hard grind that you, there's a lot of work to slide any kind of good distance so this h block is for the park rat someone who loves skating park who is really a big fan of rail or coping or bowl just anything that isn't concrete ledges but i do recommend highly that everyone tries these out because it really changes grinding it's so much fun finally we have the flat v3 illuminide 3d printed h block so this has the exact same groove shape as the aluminum one I um, mean, you've got the same benefits there. You've got great wheel bite protection. Uh, you've got a nice deep groove that's very forgiving on wheel bite. But since it ain't metal, it's uh, that nylon aluminum mix. Uh, it isn't going to last forever like the aluminum ones. But it still slides really great, really fast on all surfaces. Doesn't have the same kind of grind feel as the metal one, but it, it slides well. Once again, I would recommend skating this with the Conjure Cosmic wheels because it really is the perfect setup for skating flat there's nothing like it but yeah the big difference between this one and the aluminum one is this one's good for all around skating uh, you ain't going to be limited in any way you're going to be able to skate every obstacle that you can skate with plastic frames so this one is my actual go-to for whenever i do some street skating or i know i'm going to be skating some concrete ledges so i'd say this h block is a safe bet for everyone i think this h block should be the one that comes stock on the frame because uh, it has the best all-round benefits for skating flat but if we're going to really categorize who this is for it's for the street skater that wants to try out some metal frames the only downside being with these ones is that they will eventually wear out and you have to buy some more but the cool thing about that is uh, it's actually very easy to change h box it's only one bolt you don't need to take any wheels out so what i do is whenever i know i'm skating park where it's just going to be metal ledges I skate the aluminum h block it only takes like two minutes to change it um, and I always just have these in my bag. So then if I even need to switch to these, like someone picks me out to go street, then I just quickly swap them out. It takes like a minute. That way I don't wear these out super quick. And also I get to experience the really fun grinding feeling on the metal frames. It's like the best of both worlds. So the H block I would recommend getting the most for everyone is the Illuminide V3, uh, just because it's best for all around skating. But if you have the option, I would recommend getting both and doing what I do and just switching between them. Skate this when you're skating park, skate this when you skate street. Uh, you may notice that my 3D printed H blocks look a little bit different than the ones on the website. These are the V2s. The only thing that changed between them is the mounting point is like a more solid piece on the newer ones. Uh, so they're exactly the same. Don't be confused about that. But yeah, that's it. I'll be doing a final review on the solar frames, talking about everything I've noticed over the last year or so of skating them. So subscribe if you wanna see that. Also, if you like the hoodie I'm wearing, uh, it's designed by me, it's a limited edition run that I'm selling over at Laced. There's only a very, very, very small amount left, so don't miss out if you wanna get one. Hit the link in the description and support me. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Huge shout out to my patrons, Acosta Blades, Adam, Kevin, Chris, Deb, Dennis, Fabian, Joel, Lake Brothers Blading, Mark, Mike, Nathaniel, Sean, Skids, Grind Plates, Sweet Moves, Targi, and the Booker Grinds. And I'll see everyone with Blader News. Peace out.